Chaser. You want to flood it? Last shit hot tip he gave me sent me back a week's wages. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. 
but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back... ...there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. This place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Fresh air. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook. But it's indecipherable.
driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Seed. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something.
fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including Class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. <clears throat> you bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! Helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up! All right, come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. Fucking androids.
Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost, just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled, a part of shadow and a part of light, which will prevail. Your choices will shape our destiny. Thank you. 
humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and biocomponents. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out.
Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouses in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try.